This weekend, we're staying in Mesa, Arizona. So we wanted to find out what the pet friendly things to do were in the area. So Mesa, there were some options, but we wanted to expand a little bit more and go to other places. So Scottsdale was the nearby city and we found some cool pet friendly things to do there as well. And um, I've always heard great things about Scottsdale. I just had never had a chance to go. Yeah. So when we found out, when we booked our Airbnb, we didn't know exactly where we were going to be. Um, Phoenix, Arizona, I mean, sorry, Phoenix, Scottsdale, or Mesa ended up being Mesa, which actually ended up being perfect because it was like center of the activities we wanted to do yep. um, with the pets. So um, anyway, so here is our list of things to do with your dogs. So that's part of our search of dog-friendly things to do in the Mesa Scottsdale area. Uh, we came upon Dutch Bros Coffee. So we've never heard of Dutch Bros Coffee before, but apparently it's all over, or they have like over 300 locations in the Western US and they're headquartered in Oregon. They are pet friendly because they give puppuccinos and our dogs love puppuccinos. So this coffee shop is only drive-through and that's what they're known for. They're known for drive-through coffee, and also outstanding customer service. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Walk-up entrance only. Oh, okay, so there's a walk-up. Right, we can go that yeah. way. So okay, right we're just gonna walk up to it instead of drive through. Hi, how are you? You are so cute too, oh, hello. Thank you. Spaniel. Oh, you're so big! I love it. Okay. You still do cappuccinos? Yeah, you want a couple of them? Yes, please. You got it. Here's your cup. Okay. The first oh, one that is. Oh, so cute. Wow. Look at this. Hold on, guys. Okay, come on. Over here. Okay, come over here. Wow, what is this? Got our coffee. Uh, I just got a regular black coffee and candy. Got. I got a half decaf latte, mm -hmm. and it's delicious. It is. It's really good. And uh, just as they said online, they are very friendly there. And uh, we got awesome puppuccinos for the dogs. They loved it so much they got into a little tiff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What I like about their puppuccinos, because I mean, if you're a dog owner and you've been to Starbucks, you know it's just whipped cream, but. <laughs> They put a dog biscuit on top of theirs. Yeah. It's like a little bit extra. That's a nice touch. So they're better than Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Okay. Sunrise is nice. It's coming up. Go down, so <laughs> she looks scared. So that's the hole in the rock over there, and this is the view. So we are at Papago Park this morning and we wanted to see the sunrise at uh, the Hole in the Rock. So it's a pretty popular place around the Phoenix area. It's actually in Tempe and it's a very nice park. It's very large actually. Um, they have trails, they have a zoo. So we took the dogs here because it's a dog friendly area. The hike is easy. Mm -hmm. It's really, I don't really want to consider it a hike. It's, I don't know. It's, you just go up a hill. Yeah, you just go this little yeah. hill. They have like little makeshift stairs towards mm -hmm. the end. And also when you get into the hole where you can go down, there's like these little stairs. It's still dangerous, but um, I was actually a little bit scared having Zoe with me because she's really strong. Yeah. There had been to be pigeons right on the edge and she wanted to get them. And I was pretty scared. Yeah. I don't know. I felt like I was 
being a little unsafe bringing her up here because that was not ideal that those pigeons were there. So definitely watch yeah. watch your step and keep an eye on your dog <laughs> or get a hold of your dog yeah. if you have a strong dog, especially. especially. The whole part. Yeah. So it looks like there's trails down there. I know they have several trails around here, but this area in particular is very nice. Yeah, I really like this area. It's peaceful. You can, it's got a really great aerial view mm -hmm. of the, the town and the city. So now we are heading to the Mercantile of Scottsdale, and uh, it's about 20 minutes from Mesa. And it's another pet friendly location, so we wanted to take the dogs here with us. And it looks like a really cool store. So they have about 40 to 50 local makers uh, within this one store. It looks pretty huge. So, and they have a lot of cool uh, local items uh, like paintings, uh, home, home goods, jewelry, pet stuff. Um, I found them on Instagram. I saw that they're being tagged a lot. And what really drew me to them was one, they were pet friendly, and two, that they were um, they were all small businesses in this one building. And um, I'm all about shopping small. Okay, here we go. Uh, we just walked into the first stall of Merchantile and we already saw things we like. I already like these barrettes I'm gonna get. It's only $12. That's a good price for these. And these cute necklaces. This caught my eye first. I really like this cactus necklace. It's the saguaro cactus we keep on talking about in Arizona. I like, we just adore them. Yeah, really cute store already. And this is just like one, one place yeah. installment we saw. Mm -hmm. So much cool things to look at in this store. Well, that it's all local too. I like this chest mm -hmm. with the mountains. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I really wanted this pet bag to work for Kuma, but. I don't know, a little too complicated and I'm not sure if it exactly fits her, so. But it's so cute. <laughs> oh, that's totally me. Ew. Big price life. These dogs are like, I'm over it. So now we're at the Saguaro Hotel, another place in Scottsdale that is um, pet friendly actually. It's a pet friendly hotel. And they have a really cool wall art here. It's nice and colorful. Everything here is very colorful. Yeah. It like screams summer, yeah. <laughs> this area. So it's a fun spot to take pictures with your dog. All right, that's a good spot. <laughs> As we were taking a picture of that beautiful wall at the Saguaro Hotel, we were getting hungry, so we we're trying to look for somewhere to eat with the dogs. And we asked the receptionist up front, and she's like, "Well, I don't really know any areas except for our hotel." We're like, "Oh, that works." <laughs> so yeah, they have really great outdoor area here. Very friendly service. They even got water bowls here. I guess we didn't even ask for it, and they suggested it, and I thought that was very, very oh, nice. Is, I always like it when they cater to the dogs. Yeah. Too. I got the um, pork tacos. It's so pretty. I love how yeah. they decorated it. It's 
Very, very pretty. And then I got the fried chicken sandwich. At first I was gonna get the grilled cheese sandwich and uh, the, I don't know what he is, manager here maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure, but a worker here told me that that's one of their signature dishes or popular dishes is the grilled cheese. But then I saw the fried chicken sandwich and I'm like, mm, I'm gonna have that instead. Need more protein. So I tasted a little bit of the chicken already and it's really great. <laughs> Good juice. So now we're in downtown Mesa and here we can walk around with our dogs uh, around downtown and they have an art walk guide that you can download from their website. I think it's the Mesa um, town website that you can go to. But from there you can download a guide and they give you um, this walking guide to all the middle sculptures around here from the, I believe they're like local artists. Yeah, we just saw a few of them while we we're driving mm -hmm. through downtown. One of the popular ones is the Humpty Dumpty, which we saw some people taking pictures with. And- Saw a dinosaur. Saw a dinosaur and yeah. some other ones. I can't remember what they were, but they also have some great wall art here too. So we're gonna go explore and see what we can find. So we parked in this uh, public free downtown parking lot. And right in front of it is this pretty cool wall mural with like musical notes. Downtown Mesa. We're in downtown Mesa. The statues here. Some boys playing baseball. So it's a sculpture, Mesa number. Oh, oh you created the sculpture? You don't like the sculpture, yeah. huh? So here is the downtown Mesa mural. Very colorful. And uh, Looks like they have street parking available and but it costs them too. It's Sunday and it's very quiet down here. It is, yeah. I'm wondering if it's always this quiet here. I don't know, I mean it is COVID times. Out of all the sculptures in downtown Mesa, this is the most popular one. It's the Humpty Dumpty statue. And Kuma is just resting. Beautiful Kuma. So beautiful. <laughs> Those people in the car are laughing and they're waiting. <laughs> a celebrity Kuma. You are a celebrity in this town. Another coffee shop that we wanted to try out in Mesa is the Fix drive through Coffee. And since it's drive through and a walk-up window, we could take our dogs with us. And uh, they also give a little treat for the dogs. It's a local favorite. Uh, the locals rave about this coffee. They use premium high quality coffee that's handcrafted and they use high quality equipment. They have two locations in Arizona, um, one in Mesa and then one in Tempe. The Tempe one opened first and this Mesa one is apparently the newer one. Arrived. Oh, the fix. Cute little seating area up there. Yeah. Oh, very, very cute. Wow. We got a lot of protein cookie. Oatmeal. Oh, yeah. I'll I got smoothies. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Say hi. <laughs> Can I pet him? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. She loves attention. Hi. So. <laughs> Make sure not to put the paws on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Oh, your Yay! Look at that. This nice cozy area here. No, I love the boho style. No. I'm really into that. <laughs> <laughs> So we actually spent a lot of time here at the Fix. Uh, we just really like the decoration here, so we took some yeah. pictures. They had a great seating area, so yeah. we weren't expecting that. So that's why we spent, ended up spending more time here than we thought. Yeah, and their coffee is really good, so yeah. I highly recommend it. Is your tea good? Yeah, I like my. I got green tea. I was mm. gonna stay away from coffee today, um, yeah. but yeah, green tea is perfect. So yeah, definitely come to the Fix. Okay, baby, just get in there. <laughs>
No, I know, it's huge. <laughs> We're at Quail Run Dog Park right now, and uh, it's a huge dog park. Yes. It's uh, located in Mesa, and it's one of the top dog parks here, and I can see why. It's really, really well maintained, and it's got, they have grass. I mean, it's a little bit like dried out right now because it's winter, mm -hmm. but most dog parks I go to, especially in LA, it's wood chips. There's never any grass, yeah. so this is amazing. Plenty of benches, plenty of parking. It's the trees, there's trees throughout the area. It's very, um, they're playing right now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's only a five minute drive from the Airbnb we're staying at, which is perfect if we wanted to let them run around a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Although our Airbnb has a yard, a fenced yard, it's pretty small. So to get those two going like they are right now, <laughs> we need like a big park. Yeah. <laughs> So that was our list of things to do with your dogs in Mesa and Scottsdale. We really enjoyed this area. It's so clean. Everything is well put together. I feel like they do a great job of upkeep in this Phoenix, Scottsdale, Mesa, Tempe, Arizona uh, yeah. area. And we were always kind of surprised that some like when we looked up things to do with our pets and this and like for example um the merchantile and also some of the parks where they're like super dog friendly we even had a double check to make sure like are you sure dogs are okay <laughs> and then they're like yeah we, we love pets come on by so very pet friendly areas and we always appreciate pet friendly cities and towns yes so thank you arizona thank you <laughs> Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.